Hi everyone, it's Rod's Garage again. We are going to wire in a 220 breaker and plug for a welder today. Uh, our friends over at Faultline Garage that uh, are helping us with the body swap, they want to use their own welder and they want 220. I have 220 ran to the garage, but I don't have it ran to the plug. I had it plumbed in, but I didn't have the wiring. So today I'm going to do the wiring. Uh, if you look here, you'll see I've got my three six gauge, the two power and the one ground ran up through the conduit. Uh, if you look, you'll see the conduit coming down. Um, there's the box. Here's the outlet. You'll notice a lot of Volkswagen stuff, engines and whatnot. We do a lot of Volkswagens here on the Raj Garage. We're big into Fords and we're big into Volkswagens. Um, here's my plug. If you look, you'll see it's for a 50 amp, like a welder plug. I've already got it wired in. I've got my white, black, and green. It's really simple. Uh, there's holes on the back of the plug with screws. You just screw them in. I mean, I could show you, but it's not a big deal. Um, I've taped them so when they go through my box, uh, I won't short them out at all. I did not think this through when I had the garage done, so I'm, I'm running it reverse and being really careful. I wouldn't advise that. I'm gonna run it up through the box into the panel. Um, it's just in a really bad spot as far as the plug goes. Um, once I get it into the panel, I'll show you how to wire those up. So the kid that plumbed in my garage to begin with uh, did it from Home Depot, which is really good because um, it's just down the street. But I've got an Eaton breaker here. Um, I've already got my wires cut. My ground, it's going to go in right here. If you look, there's a big lug for the ground there. And these two wires here, it doesn't matter which one. One's going to go in that top hole and one in the bottom hole, and then I'll tie the, I'll screw those together. And then the breaker is just going to snap in. If you look right here, you can see you can see the lugs. It's hard for me to show you here. Okay, and that snaps in, and that'll be done. So I'll get that all wired, and then I'll show you what that. Okay, now I've got the ground wire in. If you can see it, it's right there. That's the ground wire. Um, I've got my two power wires wired into my breaker. Okay, breaker's off. So I am going to run it up here. I just snap it in. Done. Okay, now, if you follow, see I've got it ran down the conduit. I am not an electrician, so anybody can do this stuff. There's my plug. I've already got it all done, boxed in, ready to go. We are golden. I got to put the cover back on and I am done. Flip that on. Everything's good. And that's how you're wiring a 220. Make sure that your breaker is a double pole. So these others are just singles. It has to be a double. Um, super simple stuff to do. Uh, we do anything from, like Zach said, big projects to little projects. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Um, we're going to keep doing projects. If we, you know, if we get a lot of hits, we'll keep doing them. If we don't, we'll stop. Um, thanks again. Subscribe and like Roger Garage.